In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how the Moscow State University Video Quality Measurement Tool can compute the Netflix VMAF metric. And then I'm also going to show you the new features, or the key new features for me, in version 12. So operation of VQMT has always been very simple. You can measure the quality of up to two compressed files. So here we're looking at the Zoolander clip, and we're comparing constant bitrate encoding to constrained variable bitrate encoding. And we, we can enter the files via drag and drop pretty simply, which obviously I've already done. Then you choose your metric. And VQMT supports a bunch of different metrics. And if you're interested in Netflix, you have both the 4K model and the phone model. So here's the 4K model, which automatically gets computed with 4K files. And here's the phone model, which you can say yes, you can say no, or you can compute both the standard or default model and the phone model. So I'm going to say no. And then you choose your output, and I'm going to output to CSV, but you can also output to JSON. And then you click Start, and VQMT starts analyzing the file. And that's what you see going on here. So I've already done this. Let me show you a basic operation, then we'll come back to what's new. So once this operation is completed, you'll get this results plot. This shows the entire two files, and obviously the CBR file is in red, the constrained VBR is in green. This is the entire file over the full duration of the test clip. Down here is the highlighted region. So if I wanted to look at the frames represented here, I could highlight this and zoom in that way and see the individual scores pretty simply. So what we see is, in general, CBR and VBR are pretty consistent, except there are some pretty severe drops in the CBR files. Will a human notice those drops? Well, I mean, you click the frame and then click Show Frame, and now you can actually look at the frames themselves. So here's the original. Here's the CBR constant bit rate, and here's the VBR. CBR, constant bit rate, VBR, constrained. And, you know, they, they, they don't look that different. So this is one instance where we don't see a lot of difference between the CBR and the VBR. On the other hand, if we look here, This is the constrained VBR. This is the CBR, and we see a huge difference. So what's new in the program? What's new is, number one, operation here is about 33% faster than it was in previous versions. Now, VMAF takes a long time to compute because there are four different metrics computed, and then they're merged together into a single score. So it's going to take four to five to six times longer than PSNR or SSIM or other metrics. Speeding it up by 33% is very much appreciated. Two, we have the individual frame scores here for VMAP. So here we can see that the constant bitrate file has a score of 47, and the VBR file has a score of about 70. So that's why we notice a very significant difference between this quality for the constrained VBR file and this frame, which is the CBR file. And if we want to look at them side by side, I don't find that particularly helpful, but if you want to look at side by side, you can do that pretty easily. You know, here's VBR versus CBR. And this works better for print. If you're actually looking at the frames, I think it's easier to see if you if you kind of do the hide and replace that we looked at here. So here, and you can use hotkeys. So now I'll use control one is the source, control two is CBR. Control 3 is constrained VBR. So you see the, the, the major difference there. So speed improvement, frame scores here, and finally, just a lot more information. And here we see that in mean scores, the two are, are actually very close. We see an 80.18 for CBR and an 80.40 for VBR. No major difference there. The harmonic mean incorporates the fact that there are lower frame values here and computes the score slightly differently. And as you can see, the CBR file is one point below the VBR file. Still not enough to really give you pause, but you can, you know, it's a bad trend. Minimum value shows you that the lowest quality frame is 40, and the lowest quality frame for the VBR is 61. And that is a very significant difference. And here's the frame location, the minimum frame for both. Here's the frame location for the maximum frame for both. Now, standard deviation is a measure of the spread in the scores between 
uh, over the duration of, of the, uh, the test clip. The CBR file has a standard deviation of 10, the VBR file 7.7, .7, which is significantly lower, which means there's much lower variation in the score, which is what you want. You want a consistent, high-quality file. And then variance is another measure of spread. And here we're seeing, again, a significant difference between the 112 here and the 60 here, which means that there's a lot more variances in the score here. So previously, all we got was this. And the two scores are very close, which really doesn't reflect the poor quality. Harmonic mean does a better job at that. Minimum value just really makes it clear that there are very low quality frames in this approach and you know lets you identify their location so you can go look at them. And then standard deviation is, is a description of the overall spread. And all, again, all of these scores are new. All you got in previous versions was the arithmetic mean. In short, version 12 is, is faster. You get a little bit more information here that allows you to understand the, the difference in quality of the, of the individual frames. And then you get a ton more information here. So basically, you're using a video quality metric tool to make encoding decisions. If all you had is th this number and didn't have the ability to visualize the frames and didn't have any of this information, you really could make a bad decision. But if you have this number, you've got this interface to go looking for problems, and you've got this other data here, you can make a much more informed decision based upon the VMAF metric.